Now at 632, we turn to a News 3 investigation where our team is digging into how the hot housing market is causing some people to prey on people looking for rentals. Since the start of our investigation, we have uncovered more and more cases in our community. Investigative reporter Margaret Cavanaugh learned firsthand just how big this problem is when she put her home up for rent. She tracked down the person illegally posting her home on Craigslist. How long have you owned the property? Uh, for two years now. Oh, how many people have applied for the application? No, actually we have like uh, five people right now. Yeah, I actually own the property and I'm a reporter, an investigative reporter. Yeah, I didn't have much to say after that. Nope. Now she's speaking to a man who is about to be sentenced for his role in the scheme that spanned the entire country. Our investigation continues to bring problems to light. 19 victims from all over the country lost over $87,000 over a two-year period. They were victims of romance and real estate schemes, several trying to rent homes, according to federal prosecutors. Hindsight 2020, I wish I had known. <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten involved with these individuals. Individuals that he said scammed him. Richard Hardy of Portsmouth pleaded guilty to one count of mail fraud for his involvement in the case. We tracked him down by phone. He says it all started when he was contacted by four women online, thinking it was romantic at first. He says they asked for help after they had placed ads online. I got these people to send money, money orders to my address, and I followed the instructions and cashed, cashed the money orders and sent the money through Bitcoin. So that's how the scam worked. Hardy claims he didn't know it was illegal. Legal. At what point were you like, okay, I'm involved in some kind of scam here? When they raided the home that I was living in at the time. He says he'd make between 1 and 10 percent of the various money orders being sent to him. I put my um, my trust in those individuals and I shouldn't have. So at the time, I just couldn't see it, you know, until it was too late. How do you feel about all the, the victims? Like, what would you say to those people? I feel sorry for them. I just wish they would have been a little bit more... Um, doing their due diligence. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you should have done your due diligence? I, I do because I should have not done it. I should have not enabled these individuals. Um, but like I said, I was going through some emotional distress at the time and I lost my way. The News 3 I team continues to find more rental fraud throughout the region. In Newport News, two separate people told police that they sent money through Cash App for a property that wasn't for rent. The FBI reported a spike in these kinds of scams in 2022. We spoke to the Chesapeake Police Department about these issues. It's a crime that they could get a lot of money in a little bit of time. The frustration because of this ongoing problem is felt by so many people, especially those that are legitimate companies that work in real estate, like here at Inlet Realty and Property Management. It is rampant out there. Christian Phillips of Virginia Beach is the principal broker and owner. One of the most prevalent scams that we're seeing is when somebody will hijack one of our legitimate listings. He says he's also seen fraudsters preying on those with bad credit who have trouble getting approved, giving them false hope, saying, We can get you approved. We guarantee that we will find you a place to rent. But he says they apply using a stolen identity on the application. And so without even knowing it, with thinking that you're getting legitimate help, what you're doing is you're hiring a criminal to commit fraud on your behalf. He says it's heartbreaking. Everybody deserves uh, a place to live and a home that they can call theirs and feel safe in. And I, I hate seeing innocent people getting scammed like this. And I try to do everything I can uh, to prevent it. As for Hardy, he's waiting to be sentenced and has a warning. If someone approaches you online pretending to be a realtor and they're having difficulty because they can't accept the payment, but we want you to accept the payment. That is a red flag. And I wish I would have paid attention to that red flag, and I didn't. He says he wants others involved in this case to be arrested. Justice is not being served because the people that did this are still out there, and they're still doing it. Margaret Cavanaugh, News 3.